Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit audio layers from After Effects in Adobe Audition. So you can add effects and processing in Audition and then bring the audio back into After Effects. First, I will show you how to edit an audio layer from After Effects using the Waveform Editor in Audition. This is the fastest and easiest method but you must be aware that the waveform editor in Audition is considered destructive editing. Meaning, when you save changes that you make in Audition, the changes are saved over the original audio file. So you always want to make sure that you have a copy or a backup of the original audio file so you don't accidentally save over the original. And in the second method, I will show you how you can edit an audio layer from After Effects using the non-destructive multi-track editor in Audition. Now this method is not going to save over or overwrite your original audio file, but it does require a few extra steps. Now After Effects does have some audio effects that you can apply to your audio layers, but if you want to edit and add some effects or processing in Adobe Audition, all you have to do is select an audio layer, go to the top menu, click on edit, and then choose edit in Adobe Audition. So I'll click this, I'll open up Audition. I'm gonna press Option or Alt and the minus key just to make the waveform a little bit smaller. So now we're in the waveform editor of Audition. I'm just gonna to go to the effects rack. I'm gonna click on this presets drop down menu and I'm gonna choose one of my favorites on the telephone. I'll click that, I'll tap the space bar and you should be able to notice a difference. Okay, I'll click the apply button to add all of the effects from the effects rack into the audio waveform. And then all I have to do is go to the file menu and choose save. So make sure you're working on a backup of your original audio file, then click yes. Now we're back in After Effects. If I tap the space bar, the effect or the preset that I added in Audition has been automatically updated on this audio layer. And just to show you that this was a destructive edit, if I go into the master project folder, tap the space bar, you can hear that that on the telephone preset from Audition has now been baked into this audio file versus the second audio file, which we haven't touched yet. Still sounds like the original. Workflow number two. I'll select the audio file in After Effects, go to the edit menu and choose edit in Adobe Audition. It opened the audio layer in the waveform of Audition. So now we need to create a multi-track session. I'm just gonna select the audio file to right click, go to insert multi-track, new multi-track session. Give your session a name, choose a location where you want to save it. I'm gonna go into my After Effects project folder, into the audio folder. I'll create a folder for audition, click create, click choose, then click okay. And now you're in the multi-track. With the track selected, I'll go to the effects rack, click the presets, and I'm gonna choose the same on the telephone preset. Now, because the multi-track is non-destructive, you do not apply the effects like we do in the waveform. If you just save the multi-track session, the After Effects audio layer is not going to update automatically with the changes that you made in the multi-track. So we must first export the multi-track session to its own audio file. So go to the file menu, go to export, multi-track mix down and choose entire session. Give your audio file a name, choose the location you want to save the audio file. MP3 audio is fine. I'll keep all these settings the same. And then I'll click okay to export this multi-track session as an MP3 audio file. I'm just gonna open up my master project folder, open up the audio folder, which is where I exported the multi-track session to. I'll select the MP3 file and I'm gonna drag it right into the project panel of After Effects. I'm going to select the audio layer. I'm gonna hold the Option or Alt key and then I'm just gonna drag this audio file and replace the audio file that's on the layers panel. 
So I have the option key pressed on a Mac. I'm just gonna let go. That replaced that original. If I tap the space bar, we should hear that on the telephone effect. Bingo. I'm going to unhide my layers. Now I had my logo reacting to the original audio file. Because I held the option or alt key when I replaced the audio, I don't have to redo the animation. So when I tap the space bar, the logo should be reacting to the new audio from Audition. Sure enough, and that is how you can edit audio from After Effects in Adobe Audition CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.